discussing uh, three different ways of making the Shizuku mask. The uh, Shizuku being the uh, ninja's uniform. Um, the three different ways that I've been taught is the traditional way, which is with a long piece of fabric. I was showing you how to do that. That is a traditional way of making it, is with a long piece, piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. However, I don't care for using this method, no matter if it's traditional or not, because it's easy to pull the mask off. Um, another way that I was taught was by using a t-shirt, and uh, using a t-shirt to make a uh, Shizuku mask. Now, the, uh, the way of making it from a t-shirt was not taught by uh, my instructors or anything. It's something that I picked up off of someone who claims to study Koko Ryu Ninjutsu. And I say claim for the factor that he has great martial arts talent. I mean, in physical ability, he has great talent. Um, but he has no comprehension of the essence of ninjutsu, such as his spirituality, what things are called, and uh, you know what certain tactics are called. Uh, the, the, he knows nothing of the philosophy, so on and so forth. All he knows is a an assortment of different styles of martial arts that he's collaborated together and claiming that he's co studied Koko Ryu Ninjutsu. Uh, a true way of knowing how that someone uh, is trained in Koko Ryu Ninjutsu, uh, you know, someone that claims to be the level that he claims to be, um, is when they know the history, when they know the philosophy, when they know what the philosophy is called, the history is called, when they uh, know certain tactics are called, um, and he has not been able to produce any legitimate uh, lineage of training. He claims that he was taught by his father, and his father was taught by some fictitious person. Um, and every time I talk to him about who his father was taught by, he keeps changing that person's name. So that, that's a warning sign. Uh, the next um, uh, Shizuku mask that we're going to discuss is one that I've designed myself uh, probably 15 years ago. During, uh, during a class, I uh, used to play this little game with the students uh, to teach them how to recognize body language. and. Uh, and the shape of a person's body. So I would have a bunch of students dress up in full Shizuku uniforms and the student would have to would have to sit through them and find me. Uh, we would all just stand there or lounge around, whatever, but they had, they had to figure out which one was me. Uh, I got to a certain point where I realized that students would just come up and rip the Shizuku mask off, you know, which was the traditional style, a long piece of fabric, which comes off way too easy. So I thought, you know, I need to come up with a style of Shizuku mask that would be more difficult for them to take off. So I came up with this style. Now, this is piece one. It goes over your head. It has a slit in the back, rather high up in the back, so it makes it easy to slide it onto your head. Then you have piece two, which goes over that, and you line this up with the eye opening of piece one. Once you got this piece on, you take these long cords and you wrap them around your neck. Not so much that you're choking yourself, but wrap them around your neck and then you tie it in the back. This design makes it very difficult for anyone to pull off. We're talking with vicious force trying to pull it off. You can yank from any direction in any fashion. When it's designed properly, it does not come off. So I found this to be more effective during those particular lessons. Uh, so 
and that my students were able, weren't able to cheat. Now, down the road, one of my students had to come out and say, gee, you could really use this on missions. Well, how often do, do Shinobi no Mano use, do missions nowadays? And he said, well, you know, the downfall is someone can turn around and use it to rob a bank. And I said, well, that's not what I designed it for. Um, I designed it for class. Uh, I did not design it for people to go out and commit crimes with. So if you have the intentions upon using this design to go out and commit a crime, that's on you, not on me. Okay, that was your own personal joy. Say this up front, I do not educate people to these, you know, I do not educate them in these tactics to go out and commit crimes. I educate them in these tactics for self-preservation. That is it. So if you want to commit a crime, then be prepared to suffer the consequences. Chances are you will be arrested. You will spend time in jail. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to put this mask on. Take my headband off. I'm not wearing a headband because I got a receding hairline and it embarrasses me. First piece. Stick over and it down so that my eyebrows are not showing. I have long hair, so I need to bring my hair back and tuck it into my shirt. And this extra gets tucked in to your t shirt as well. You're going to want to wear a t shirt underneath your Shizuku Ki. Shizuku or D, whichever you want to call it. The traditional name is a Shizuku. Now from there, there is, we take the second part, and uh, I prefer using a mirror when putting it on because it makes it easier to line it up. But I do not have a mirror here. So I am going to line it up as best as I can. Out of here. Now, as mentioned, we got these long straps. So we're going to take those, we're going to wrap them around. Not so much that I'm not choking myself, but just so that's secure. And I'm going to take the remaining part and I'm going to tie them into a standard knot. And there we have it. As mentioned before, someone had showed me a rather creative way of how to make a Shizuku mask out of a t-shirt. Now keep in mind, as mentioned before, this is not a traditional way of making a Shizuku mask. In fact, uh, I wouldn't re recommend it, but I do find it entertaining. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to bring it the neck of the shirt from towards your eyes. Okay, draping it over, grabbing the arms, tying it back into a knot. There we're going to make adjustments. Okay. All right. And we're going to hold this extra here. What we're going to do, we're going to hook it in to our Shizuku bucket. There we go. 
Okay, the traditional Shizuka mask, as mentioned, is made from a long piece of fabric. Okay. What we do is we're going to find the center point and we're going to lay it over our heads, bring it around the back, crisscrossing. Okay. I'm going to straighten out the fabric and we're going to bring it over our face. Oh. 